The question this morning is, would God ever ask us to give up the familiar for the unfamiliar? And the scripture that answers that question is in the life of Abraham in Genesis 12, verse 1. It says, The Lord said to Abraham, Go from your country, from your people, from your father's household, to the land I will show you. And the thing that always stands out to me about that verse is, He said, I will show you. He didn't show Abraham where he was going to go. And he actually went. And in Hebrews 11, it talks about his faith, that he was a man of faith, and this was considered righteousness to him. And so the question is about whether or not God would ever ask us to give up the familiar for the unfamiliar. Well, I believe 100% he gives everybody this opportunity on a consistent basis. And it's not that you um, would are sinning when you don't have faith for the unfamiliar, when you don't have faith to say yes to the unfamiliar, but he is always inviting us on adventures that will meet us where our faith is at. And so whenever we say yes, and it's difficult, we actually stretch ourselves in our faith. We actually grow in our spirit and we become cl like a a closer version of who we're created to be. We, we come closer to that heavenly place in the earth where we depend on God to be who He says He is and to do what He says He does and to provide like He says He will. And so whenever we go, and so this is the idea behind Abraham. Abraham was a wealthy man in his, in his, in his area, in his nation, in his time. and. He grew up with his family, and, and from what we read, it seems like he is very close with his family. And this was all he ever knew. And he was older, he was, he was in his late years. And to be asked to leave all that you knew, and all that you've built, and everything that has been safe and secure, and just go somewhere you don't know where, is a big challenge. But also, I think a lot of times when we come to a place of despairing of life, of really being unsatisfied. And I talk about my own experience, struggling with suicide and planning suicide two times in my life where I was very close and had this interruption from God that kept me from going through with my plan, but also just struggling with it all those years since I can remember. It's an interesting place to not care about your life in a sense and recognize if you don't care, if you're willing to lay your life down because you're not satisfied with life, then why not give your life to God and see what he'll do with it and go on his adventures in no matter where it takes you. And I've seen people do this who are missionaries. I know I have a friend who's a missionary in Thailand right now, and she's left everything she knows, and she has a heart for Syrian refugees, and they send people to team, in teams of people out there. And this is the idea. The idea is there's so many ways that we can shine light in the darkness when we don't fear death. There's so many ways we can make a difference in the earth while we have breath in our lungs, to actually change things when we don't fear men, when we aren't trying to please everybody else, but when we actually are willing to lay our lives down. And this is a, a scary place, you know, when you're despair of life, you can either be completely reckless in a destructive way, or you can be completely glorious in a life-giving way. And so this is the idea, the whole world is before you. All these adventures are in front of you. The God who made you and created life and everything in it is always calling us. He's calling us today. And he's saying, will you go on an adventure with me? What? And it's, and it's recognizing that he is always there to call us into his adventures, even in small ways. He might ask you to go and speak to somebody at a restaurant and just tell them, you know, that they're loved or, you know, by God. Or he may call you to give your money, you know, something in your pocket to somebody or, you know, these little 
adventures he takes us on that breaks our fear of having to please man or worrying about certain things. He may call you into these little adventures that culminate into big ones. And I'm sure this is where Abraham was. He was used to saying yes to God. He was used to hearing God's voice. And he was in a place where he could lay it all down and give it all away. And I've said that so many times in worship. After I came to know God, had an encounter with God, and cared nothing about my life when I met him, and he was saying, I, I can make you new if you let me. I can give you life the way it was intended to be if you just give it to me. And I would just say, okay, well, take my life. Take my time. Do what you want with it. I have no plans anymore. Here it is. And this is the adventure that he calls each of us to go on. When we do that, we position ourselves for crazy miracles. And some people, like I said, don't have the faith for that, and it's not a sin, but it is something that he welcomes us into at any moment. He's like saying, are you gonna come to me now? Do you wanna start this journey with me now? Are you ready? How far are you willing to go? Wherever your faith is at, I'll meet you there. And that's how patient and kind he is. He's all powerful. He could take our breath from our bodies in any second. And yet he's looking at us waiting on our yes, because he's kind and he's gentle, even though he's all powerful, he's loving. And so he's always inviting us on this adventure. And so I'm just gonna pray that we would say yes and um, that we wouldn't carry shame on things that we haven't done in the past, but we would say yes in the moment that he gives us in the present. Um, so Father God, I thank you, Jesus, for the way you redeem us and every bit of thing, mess that we've made, God. You come in as soon as we turn to you and you start painting with the mess we've made and turn it into a glorious masterpiece that only you could make out of the mess that we create. And I thank you, God, that when we turn to you and we say yes, you have so much more than we can imagine. You have so many better plans than we can make up for ourselves. And all of our grand ideas about what life should be pale in comparison to the beauty of what you create out of our yes out of our open-handedness when we answer the invitation from you to go on adventures and to say yes so i pray for my heart and um for everyone else god that they would open their hands and trust you with their lives and lay it all down so they can receive the heights of what life has to offer you are life god you are the way the truth and the life jesus so let us follow you with open hands, surrendered hearts, and go on your adventures. In Jesus' name, amen.